Heroes in Crisis issue 2 continues to follow the bloody Harley Quinn as she meets with Penguin, who she asks for help as everyone is coming after her now. Batman, Superman and Wonder Woman meanwhile perform an autopsy on Commander Steel, while Batman says that he doesn't know how someone found out about the Sanctuary, as all data is deleted immediately following the hero's sessions there. Superman and Wonder Woman know that Batman built in a spy backdoor of some type to keep himself prepared, but Batman says that he did didn't, and the sanctuary needed to remain anonymous because he attended the facility often as well. Opening Steel up, they find that he swallowed something before his death, specifically a pair of chattering joke teeth. As Batman attends the Sanctuary for a session to voice his mind about training partners who become his family, Booster is woken up by Skeets, who says that he was sent an emergency signal by Michael that allowed him to find the hero and heal him from his almost fatal wounds. Booster says that Harley Quinn killed everyone at the Sanctuary, but she says that he was the one who murdered everyone. Harley meanwhile is found by the Trinity, who obviously know that she is behind the massacre and want to bring her in. Booster meanwhile wonders if he he should turn himself in, but then imagines what Batman would do and realises that he needs to solve this mystery. The Trinity demand to know what happened at Sanctuary and Harley hugs Wonder Woman, stealing her lasso and using it to tie up Batman. With Batman as a hostage, Harley uses the lasso's power of truth to get a piece of kryptonite from Batman's belt and weaken Superman, allowing her to escape, saying that Booster Gold was the one who killed everyone. Booster meanwhile meets with Flash, telling him about the situation at the Sanctuary. Flash doesn't understand what Michael is talking about, but then Booster reveals who died, revealing Wally West was killed and that he might have been the one to kill him. Flash races off, but soon returns after confirming Wally's death, punching Booster hard and demanding to know what he did. The Trinity meanwhile track Harley, but before they can move in on her, Superman realises that Barry is attacking Booster and races off to stop the fight. Harley meanwhile is atop a bridge, where she drops a rose into the river, saying that she shouldn't have followed Joker to the sanctuary or even tried to help him. Lois meanwhile is sent some files but is too busy working on a story to take any notice. She does take notice however when the person delivering them tells her that it's from a place called the sanctuary and it was sent from someone called the puddlers. Superman meanwhile attends a sanctuary session wondering if Superman is just Clark trying to be better or if Clark is Superman trying to be flawed and he wonders what would happen if his secret got out. Heroes in Crisis issue 2 was a fucking frustrating read since nothing of value really happened outside of the heroes learning of the killings and continuing the mystery even though we kind of already know who who did it. My god would it kill Tom King to actually write a story for once that is coherent and not some jumbled up word salad that looks like a three year old pieced it together and sent it to the printers. Stop jumping back and forth with the psych evaluation session pages for the heroes. Put them maybe at the end of the book or at the start of the book like you had at this issue but then none throughout the book because it just breaks up the story too much. Then there's the fact that the sanctuary is only anonymous because Batman Batman frequented it. It says it exactly in this issue. It's anonymous because Batman attended it. So if he didn't attend it, then it wouldn't be anonymous and everyone would be free to take the information. He would be free to take that information. Also, there's the fact that there's no evidence that he actually attends this since if he did, none of the stuff post his failed wedding with Selena would have happened as he would have just been able to have gone to Sanctuary for help. The fact that Sanctuary's rules aren't actually explained either it really bothers me as well and I know we're probably never going to get an explanation on them because Tom King never explains anything. Fuck this book, I'm going to give this issue a 2 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Kate Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.